So it's mainly working with the certainty is very helpful. Did you have a question? One here, and then I'll come back to you there. Okay. I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about the, the origins of dissatisfaction. Origins of dissatisfaction? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Origins of dissatisfaction. <laughs> That's a good question. <clears throat> From the Buddhist point of view, the, the main origin usually is what we say uh, this ignorance, right? Ignorance. And it seems to be quite related to what we talked earlier. You know, this sense of ignorance about seeing clearly, right? Seeing clearly what you have already. You know, we'll, sometimes we're lacking to see that clearly, what you have already. And sometimes we're lacking to see clearly what we really need, right? What we really need to improve something or to change something. And we always collect the wrong thing, <laughs> it looks like, you know. We all, Many times you always collect the wrong thing and wrong thing and wrong thing. It becomes like a junkyard then. And so therefore, basic sense of ignorance, uh, lack of clarity, is the cause of dissatisfaction here. Uh, lack of clarity, not seeing clearly what we have or what you have, not seeing clearly you know, what you need. You know, that becomes the main causes for dissatisfaction, continuing. Many times we think we know what we need, but actually we don't really know what we need. You know, we're getting from all the environment, right? Telling you, oh, you need this, you need that, right? Coming to you all the time, influences and so on. We're not reflecting ourselves, we're just going out. And sometimes we, uh, our mind follows this sense of uh, craving and uh, what do you call that? Envy. Like you see in someone having a nice car or someone having this and that, then you feel like, oh, I need that. But if you really think about it carefully, you sit down and think about it, probably you don't need that. Right? <clears throat> Sometimes I find myself, you know, you go to a shop and buy a bunch of things. You go home and say, why did I get this one? <laughs> you know, what do you do with it? You know, best thing here is you can return it, though. <laughs> uh, which you can't do it in India, you know. <clears throat> so that, I think, is a lack of clarity, you know. Lack of clarity or ignorance is the cause of dissatisfaction. <coughs> Does that help? Yeah. All right. There's one question back there first. <clears throat> Can you wait for a minute? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Gonna be hard. Mike. We have to record, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> These are two questions, but they're related. One is you, you talk about knowing that you have what you need. And I wonder how you develop that sense of trust in life. And I'm not talking about, you know, material things, but difficulties that come or fears, how you develop that sense of trust in life. And my second question, which is kind of related, is the dissatisfaction. Um, how do you work with contentment when you're going through a really difficult time? Like maybe you're at a job that feels very oppressive mm -hmm. and, or, or, or right. some, you know, that kind of thing. So I guess they're, di but they, they kind of weave together, those two questions. So. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Oh. So what was the first one? Oh, no. <laughs> how do we, how do we, okay, all right. How do we know? All right. mm -hmm. I think the key point here is uh, employing, you know, employing 
what you have already. You know, first, before looking out, we look inside. Like when we feel something that we need to work on, right? Before looking out for help or looking out for something, wisdom, you look inside and see how I can, what do I have to deal with it? You know, what wisdom do I have? What compassion do I have? You know, look at all the revenues that we have and try to employ them. Make the best use of what you have first. Right? Then when you see there's something more needed after doing that for a while, when you see there's something more needed, yes, definitely we have to collect that. We have to gather. There's no uh, problem with that. You know, it's not feeding dissatisfaction, mind, but it's actually a clarity, you know, that is seeing what we are missing. You know, that's why we say usually one of the greatest wisdom is knowing what you don't know. You know, that's a very good wisdom. You know, when you feel you don't know something or when you feel you really don't have something that you really need, then that's a very good wisdom already. There's a great certainty there already. Then you should definitely try to acquire, you know, and employ that. So that's the first thing, you know. Try to look inside first, employing what you have, and then acquire what you don't really have. So when you have the wisdom of knowing what you don't know, then that's the time to acquire, you know or inquire further. And the second uh, thing is that, uh, yes, when you have certain situations where it is totally, uh, what you call, um, unworkable or extremely difficult situation, then the first thing, the best thing to do is to see how much of it is our projection and how much of it is really there in our reality, yeah? To work with that is really helpful for us. Sometimes we don't know how we are projecting, you know? We do make projections without even knowing that we are making projections. You know, look at all the corners, all the aspects of the situation when there's a difficulty and try to see clearly, you know, what's really wrong here what's the main, most difficult part and how you can work it out, how you can overcome it, you know, in that situation. Or you need to change, you know, the job, for example. You know, that's fine to go on and look for a new job when it's totally unworkable or totally, what you call, destructive or, or negative for everyone. Uh, at the same time, the first thing is we should see how much we are projecting and how much of it is a real problem there. Then there is a wisdom. You know, once you do that, then it's not really feeding our dissatisfaction mind. You know, usually before we do that, we jump to conclusion. We go on and on and on. You know, that becomes a problem. That becomes a big habitual problem. Because then we bring that to our spiritual path, spiritual journey. We bring that to our mind journey too. You know, then it becomes a problem, right? This dissatisfaction in everyday life, if you cannot remedy that with the spiritual or you know, deeper sense of wisdom, when you also bring that into that, then it becomes a problem. But when you look at it and deal with it such a way, that you're not feeling the dissatisfaction mind. 